Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at Apricity. It's an arch-based distribution. Uh, it comes with Gnome and it comes with Cinnamon. As you can see, it's, it comes with a light theme. You can change that. Um, a lot of software is installed out of the box. Uh, what I did is I installed most of the uh, software that I usually use when I'm testing a distribution. In this case, and I got to mention that uh, with Arch-based distributions, most of the software that I use, most of the tests go very, very well. For example, if I want to play Hearthstone, I install that. Battle.net, everything installed properly. Steam, everything installed properly. No issues whatsoever. I was able to get Battle.net running through Wine using wine tricks so I had no need to install play on Linux uh, in some Debian and Ubuntu distributions I have to install play on Linux and even then in some cases I'm not able to get Battle.net running but with Arch distributions that's usually not the case everything usually works uh, perfectly so everything that I have thrown at it it has taken without any issues um, as I said it does come with cinnamon or gnome if you go to their website I installed the cinnamon version but yet it installed the gnome version also and either one is selectable at the login screen now they also have an interesting feature where they have user uh, features user uh, spins so you can create once you finish tweaking and getting everything the way you want you can create an ISO and make it available to other users on the uh, the forum so you can make your ISO available as others have here you can see there are some gnome based there are some uh, cinnamon based and you can download these spins and there's a description of what it is but that's that's unique. I don't see that with too many distributions, but there is a community-based section, and uh, anybody has access to it. I would I would suggest that if you do download Apricity, that you create a user profile on the on the website uh, at the at the forum, so you can make use of all of these features. Now, this is the September of 2016 version. I haven't really modified anything. It's pretty much out of the box, except for the software that I have added. I didn't change the wallpaper or the theming. It's a very nice desktop. Uh, I'm going to go through the specs on this, and this is using the same uh, format that I used uh, on uh, my last video. Again, if you I'm going to open that with LeafPad. If you have any other items you want me to add to this, so that way you have a full picture of the distribution, and so that I don't forget to add any information that you might feel necessary. So let's go through and just take it step by step. It is Apricity. You can get it with Cinnamon or Gnome. These are the specs of the system that I have installed it to. Um, I like the Calamaris installer because it gives you the option not to install a bootloader. And that's helpful if you if you already have a multi-boot system and you've got another distribution controlling the grub process, then you can elect not to install a bootloader. Wi-Fi was available my Broadcom Wi-Fi was available out of the box. I was able to use it for install, and when I booted up first time, it was available out of the box. Install time was about 12 minutes. My boot time is 9 seconds from grub selection to, to the desktop. 9 seconds. The default kernel is 4.7.6-1, the Arch kernel. RAM usage on first boot was 585 megabytes. CPU usage was less than 1%. Again, these are going to vary depending on the system you're installing to. 
the NVIDIA uh, install, uh, no problem at all, but I did have to install it at the command line, which is very easy to do using, using Pac-Man. Okay, so as I mentioned, Broadcom was available out of the box. There are 66 wallpapers available, six icon sets, and two themes. It's using the Cinnamon Desktop 3.0.7. Uh, the file manager is Nemo, version 3.0.6. It's in the Arch Distro family. S Steam was no problem at all. Battle.net no problem using Wine. And War Thunder installed without any issues. Both Gnome and Cinnamon are installed and are selectable at the login screen. And I selected the Cinnamon ISO but when I booted into, since I selected auto login, when I booted into the uh, desktop for the first time, it was actually a GNOME desktop. I had to log out and log back in selecting Cinnamon from the login screen, which is no big deal, but it is, it is a little bit unusual. And if you're not ready for it, it can kind of throw you for a loop. So guys, that is it for this uh, video. I, uh, I really enjoy Arch-based distributions because everything just works. Um, but again, again, the downside is that uh, it's not as inherently stable as, let's say, a Linux Mint or a Debian stable install. However, uh, if you're careful and you understand the update process, you should be able to steer clear of any major issues. So guys, that is it for this, uh, this video. It is a Pricity OS, very nice distribution. Uh, thanks for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And also give me some feedback on the uh, review criteria checklist that I'm using. If you want me to add anything to that, uh, just feel free. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the office, uh, and I did add that, uh, I'm going to add that, the office package for software is the LibreOffice package. But again, with I installed uh, quite a bit of software, but it does come fully featured right out of the box. So I do recommend Apricity. Guys, uh, again, thanks for stopping by the channel, and I'll see you soon. Take care.